I've been for real fighting for my happiness lately, but you know what? Like, we're going to take it as it is, and we're going to say, no, I'm going to have a good day today. I'm going to have a good week this week, and I'm going to be shown unexpected blessings this week. I'm already claiming it. You guys already know. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys my tips on how I stay smelling good all day, you guys already know, you smell good is my favorite compliment to receive. Ever since I was a kid, I was one of those kids that had to shower all the time, had to be clean all the time. I never wanted to be the smelly kid, so I had it together, okay? I knew what I was doing, and I stuck with it, and these are my go-to tips to stay smelling good all day. If y'all see a little bit of smoke, do not worry. I have an incense burner going. So it's just that the window's open, nothing's on fire, I'm okay. Let's get into it, y'all. So I am seriously telling y'all, smelling good starts in the laundry room. I'm telling you guys, listen. I read somewhere that you only need two tablespoons of laundry detergent, but like, no. When I wash my clothes and my sheets and my linens and everything, they are getting baptized in that washer today. I do not play. I use a lot of detergent, and you know what? It really makes a difference. When I wash my clothes, I use a full cup of detergent, okay? Do not skip fabric softener. That is one of the things that's gonna make your clothes smell so good, okay? I use the pink downy. I don't have it with me because I have it in like a dispenser thing, so it's not right here. But I use the pink downy. That's like my favorite right now. I'm loving it. And scent beads. Yo, they can get kind of expensive, and I will say that. But if you can afford scent beads, they make a huge difference in your laundry. And when I use all three of those things together, my laundry's popping, okay? <laughs> my laundry ends up smelling so good, it lasts up to two weeks between my detergent routine and layering my products the way I do, I can rewear my clothes like three or four times before I'm like, okay, they need to go in the washer. So definitely start in the laundry room and start changing it up with the way you wash your clothes. Tip number two is to layer your products, okay? I used to be the kind of person where I would hop in the shower, wash my hair, wash my body, get out, do some body spray and be done. But then by the end of the day, my scent was gone. I didn't smell like anything. I didn't smell bad, but didn't smell like anything because that's all I was doing. Let me put y'all on real quick. So this layering thing, it starts in the shower, okay? I forgot to grab a bar soap, but start with a bar soap in the scent that you want to do, okay? For example, my scent combo that I'm gonna be showing y'all today is the Soap and Glory Original Pink everything and my Chanel Mademoiselle. It's like my favorite combo right now. But I start in the shower with a bar soap, okay? I know a lot of people do not like bar soap and I feel like it's so underrated because that bar soap is your antibacterial, okay? That's what's getting you clean when you're in the shower. You are cleaning your body. It will leave a little residue, but when you layer everything else, it will go away. But you need your bar soap to disinfect and clean yourself. I do not like the residue that bar soap leaves, so I do have to add extra products in. Next, after my bar soap, I go in with a body scrub of the scent that I'm going to be using. This one is the Scrub of Your Life from Soap & Glory. It's got the original pink scent in it. I like this one better than the Flake Away because I don't like the texture of it. It just feels weird, but like this stuff is so good. I love this scrub. It's one of my favorites and it smells so good. Oh, I shouldn't be singing like that, y'all. Then, continuing on with the layering, after my body scrub, I go in with a body wash. This is the one that's going to be more for scent rather than getting you clean, but it is going to help to layer and build that scent on you. Again, we're going with Soap & Glory Original Pink, so I have the clean on me. This one is more of a creamy shower gel, so it is more moisturizing, similar to the Bath & Body Works Ultra Moisturizing ones. And I love this. Again, smells so good. We're building that scent up, starting in the shower. Fresh out the shower, I don't care who you are, you gotta moisturize your body, first of all, for the health and protection of your skin. 
But second of all, your perfume is not gonna stick to your skin if your skin is dry. Perfume in body spray it sticks to moisturized skin. So keeping up with this layering, I love the Soap and Glory Righteous Butter. This stuff is so velvety and so thick and so moisturizing. I love using this because I actually feel like my skin is getting moisturized and staying moisturized. It matches up, it's got that original pink scent. So again, we're building up that fragrance. So then I get dressed, I put my clothes on. I find my fragrance lasts longer if I put my body spray and perfume on my clothes and not necessarily my skin. So I do get dressed. So I like to go in with a body spray and then a perfume that goes with it. I just feel like the body spray is kind of your base and then your perfume is the one you want to last all day. So I do have the original pink, again, from Soap and Glory. This is the Body Mist. I love this. It's only $7 for the bottle, and mm, 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 it's so good. So I just go ahead and just everywhere, all over my clothes. I do put it in my hair, too. Maybe that's bad, but it does help to make the scent last longer. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done with the layering routine. We're almost there, but not quite. So now after that, you're gonna go in with your perfume for the day. Mine for this scent is Coco Mademoiselle. This is the Eau de Parfum Intense, which we'll get to that in just a few minutes, don't worry. But this Coco Mademoiselle is my absolute favorite perfume. It lasts so long as it is, but it just smells so good. It smells expensive, it smells feminine. You're gonna go ahead and just everywhere, even in your hair, I don't care, I don't care. And yes, you're gonna go in with your perfume all over your clothes, all over your body. I use a lot of perfume, I will be honest. I do use a lot of product, but I smell good all day long, so it's worth it to me. Final step, and probably the most important, I do wait until everything kind of settles and I do have my clothes on, but get you a good deodorant. Make sure that your deodorant is keeping you from sweating and it doesn't stain, it smells good. One of my favorites right now that mixes well with all of my scents is the Clinical Strength Secret Completely Clean. I couponed these a while ago, got them for basically free, but still it is one of my favorites. Gets the job done, don't forget deodorant. It is one of the biggest, biggest, biggest tips I can give to you is do not forget your deodorant. When you layer up your products like this, starting in the shower, you get a stronger scent and your scent will last all day. This is a promise. Tip number two is to buy the intense version of a perfume if your brand carries it. If it's available to you, definitely do that. It makes a huge difference. When they make these intense versions of perfumes, it does have a little bit of darker notes to it. I do notice that but it lasts so much longer and you use so much less product. So in turn, you're kind of saving yourself money even if you spend more money initially. Totally, totally worth it. I would recommend it in any scenario. Which brings me to also when it comes to your perfumes, buy an eau de parfum instead of an eau de toilette and here's why. Your eau de toilette is less concentrated. It's gonna be more water than fragrance, but your eau de parfum has more of the perfume oil in it. It's gonna be stronger. It's gonna have more of that scent to it. When you're wearing perfume, you want that eau de parfum or parfum, but I always buy an eau de parfum when I can because I like that stronger scent and I like it to last longer. Let me tell you guys, one of the biggest changes that I made that's helped me so much is when you switch from toilet paper to wet wipes. These ones are the wipe that tush ones. You can get them at Walmart. And honestly, I bought them because the package is cute and it looks cute in my bathroom. But you can get any kind of unscented wet wipes. I prefer flushable ones, but honestly, if that's not your gig, you can use regular ones. Just don't flush them unless they say flushable. This makes a huge difference. Not even because of anything gross with like your booty, but like definitely, I feel like if you're going number two, you should be using wipes. It's a lot cleaner. But we as women, discharge happens. Sweat happens, okay? And that will build up and that moisture will build up and it will create odor. And that odor, it's a little bit 
but it does make a difference. So when I notice using wet wipes instead of toilet paper completely changes the game, y'all. And honestly, my last tip for you, I feel like it's common sense, but you can never trust that people have that. But don't forget the little things. I'm telling y'all, brushing your teeth, washing your hands, using deodorant. It seems like common sense, basic stuff, but when you forget these little things, it can add to your overall smell. I'm serious, don't forget the little things. Odor builds up in these tiny ways and ways you don't even expect to, and I'm serious, when you're remembering to brush your teeth and put on deodorant and wash your hands, reapply your perfume if you need to seriously like it adds up so that is all i have for you guys today thank you as always if you made it to this point in the video i love you guys i love our girly space this is like my favorite thing to do lately um and i'm loving it thank you so much for watching as always